Potato in hand, stick swinging, fish, big, big boom, slap, happy dance around Hub Shack in my slacks. Hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. Today, along with the next few days, we have myself, we have Mr. Mav. Do not start this again. Back to what I was saying. Today, along with the next few days, we have myself, we have Mr. Maverick, and we have Mr. Sam Sobey. Is it Sobe or Sobiac? No, my name is just Sobe. And we are going to be, we actually just left my house a little bit ago. The boys picked me up and we're going to be heading up north to hopefully fish some awesome bites that none of us have fished before. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've never went north, this far north and fished. I'm not going to tell you exactly where we're going because honestly, we don't have any clue yet. So you guys will just have to stay tuned and hopefully we can... I don't know. Hopefully we can do something cool. Well, the first tank always hurts the worst. And when you got 36 gallons of gas that fit in the thing, it takes a little while. So you got to find things that'll keep you preoccupied. For me, playing with big fuzzy microphones and cameras. For some people, it's smoking a cigarette. Wouldn't advise that. But today, we're going to put this gas to good use. Stay tuned. We're going north. What he said. First stop of the trip of the up north tour. Tour? Are we doing a tour? Yeah, no, I would call this the lit tour. Lit tour. First stop of the first official stop of the lit tour. We gotta pee. All right, dudes. Just got in in the truck from the gas station. It is currently lunchtime. I'm gonna pound a little little piece of garlic bread. Boys got some taquitos. Uh, yeah, gonna get back on the road. Where's what's the next stop? What are we doing? Next stop is detail and we're going to the bait shop, buddy. You got some cocoa as well. You didn't tell them you got cocoa, yeah. but oh, you, yeah. but in the store, I saw you clearly get cocoa if you didn't tell them that already. Sorry guys, I forgot to tell you. I got some hot cocoa. It's in my it's in my cup. Next stop, bait store. Whew, it is cold out here. Third stop of the drive we are at. At the bait store. At Gander Outdoors, we're gonna come and get some. We're gonna come get some baits and maybe Maybe a couple lures, all that stuff. Stay tuned. Potato in hand, stick swinging, fish, big, big boom, slap, happy dance around Hub Shack in my slacks. And that's to Mav's dad? Yeah, that's just some poetry I've been working on, you know. We love you, Mr. Joes. <laughs> <laughs> I give up on life. I bet it's... Little update, dudes. Just got out of... Out of Gander Mountain, uh, well actually Gander Outdoors about an hour ago. We are still searching for this guy's wallet. Okay. It ain't in here, dude. It's not It's not at my buddy's house. Let's just go to the house and turn it on the road. And if it's not in here, it's going to be at the gas station. Not good. Yeah, I think I'm definitely it. going to uh, put the camera away for the night. We're going to uh, go to one of Mav's buddy's house, get up. Oh. Get up really early and get out there. So we will see you guys in the morning. Bye. What's up dudes? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are gonna embark on an adventure that I have only ever dreamed of. We are never <clears throat> Could we do it? No, you're fine. <laughs> What's up dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Fish and More Outdoors. Today we are embarking on an adventure that I've only ever dreamed of. We are in Maverick's home college town. You scary I know, but there's big fish in the sea here, and he's only caught a few of them, so let's get after it. I didn't go to bed till five last night. That was dumb. Congratulations. See you're you first guys the at the lake. Tell your camera what's going on. What's going on? Well, um, reiterated by Mav, probably every week that we've had, okay. You wanna hear what I get to say? I got something good to say. <laughs> Reiterated by Mav, potentially every week for the whole time I've ever known him. Uh, dude, I went to school in Duluth, and I like went there four years ago. I know Duluth so well. Um, that being said, we've been driving on the same road here for about 30 to 45 minutes, just scouting. You know what I mean? It's just a big scouting game. I thought we were going fishing. Yeah, no, I, I, I was, was under the pressure. Like today. Oh, yeah. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. Equals. A, equals. We're freaking homies, yeah, man. Yeah. No, I was definitely under the pressure we were going to fish today. But Long story short. Scouting's everything, you know. We were supposed to be fishing, and 
it's like it's like 11 o'clock and we're not fishing. Like I said earlier, I only got like two hours of sleep, so I might die. Uh, I might just say screw it and sleep. We probably got a good hour or two. You can probably lay down. <laughs> we better not have another hour or two. Thumb hmm. more. Yep. One, two, three, three four. four. I, I declare a thumb more. Five, six, seven, seven eight. You're the one who really hit. Again, two out of three. Out here, and it's all steep drop off. Like those guys are fishing like nothing. That'd be really good. Are you? Don't show my shit. We are officially at the spot. I hope. Are we at the spot? Is this where we're fishing? We're gonna try. We gotta. We gotta uh, check the ice first. Okay. Let's check the ice. Hope, hope. Hope that we're safe. Hopefully, we can get out there. Well, dudes, this is not good. Mav and our buddy Mike uh, just went out and, and checked the ice and it's not looking good. They were uh, busting through with only one hit with the chisel, so we're gonna have to keep on trucking, keep on looking for some safe ice. So stay tuned, guys. Hopefully we can get on some ice today. And then uh, I would probably stick it out. There's a lot of current there all right there. So I don't know if that's Good or bad, but that's what we found. There's tons of currents against real smooth holes. Alright, dudes. It is probably really windy for you guys right now. We just got to the spot. We got all loaded up. We found safe ice. Hopefully, we can finally catch us some giant, giant lake trout. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Teamwork, bud. Teamwork makes dream work, buddy. Dude, my face burns. I can't move my lips. I probably sound like I'm mumbling. Little update, dudes. We are about halfway there. This is insane. Whoa! We got like 40 mile an hour winds out here. You can barely see. Let's keep going. All right, dudes. We just got all set up. It is freaking so fierce out there. My lens is terrible. I'm gonna have to clean this quick, but today it's gonna be myself and Solby fishing together. Mav and Mike are in the shack next to us. Hopefully, uh, Hopefully one of us can connect. Stay tuned, we're gonna get more stuff set up and get to fishing. Can I have that? Yes. I should have all the batteries I need out of there. Sick. Once you sit on it, I'm like, Dude, That's mad. This is legit, man. Okay, dude. okay, dudes, we are officially fishing. We are in 80 feet of water right now. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but I am finally so stoked. I had a little bit of graph issues. I couldn't mark myself, but Sylvie thought of the bright idea to changing my beam on the old hummingbird. And I could see my mark clear as a bell in 80 feet. So that's pretty, Heck yeah. pretty cool. It gives me a little bit of confidence. Unlike Sobe, he's kind of, I'm kind of like, I don't have, I don't have the right transducer on because my beam's pretty wide. Like yeah. what he means by changing the beam is like before when we're in 80 feet of water, his beams like this. So whoo, he's reading everything, which is not picking up much detail. He changes beam. So it's smaller. So we're in 80 feet. So by the time the beam actually gets down there, it's like what it would be in like 15 to 20 feet of water. Oh yeah. Imagine, what do you think the beam would be down there? Like huge. 150 feet? Huge. It'd be huge. huge Nothing as it would be in like 15 feet. It's, I don't even know. Anyways, stay tuned guys. I'm about to, I'm about to break out a little thing that I purchased and we're about to uh, cook up some ravioli. Yes. Guys, also, we are pretty much going for one, one big bite. We could catch several fish. Yeah, we could. But we're on Lake Superior. I don't even know if I've told you guys we were on Lake Superior yet. It's the largest lake in the USA. Yeah, you guys keep saying that. So hopefully we catch an absolute giant. About to cook up some ravioli. Check out this little sweet little thing. God, you scared me. I did. That you got slammed. Check out this sweet little thing I bought yesterday. I've been wanting, I've actually been wanting one of these for a long time. This thing is just tiny. Opens up just like, oh, well, I think I know how to open it. This thing's for cooking cooking food instead of cooking on the old buddy heater you just got this little ordeal you screw it on a little propane tank and voila you can cook up some ravioli so let's do that I'm sure he does something whoa oh, whoa oh. I should probably uh, read the instructions first oh it was all the way open it was yeah look at that you got a lighter um, I, I grabbed a lighter I had to buy one today 
So I just light it, right? I think so. Just turn it very low. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you have to. You have to. Oh, there you go. Dude. That thing's hardcore. <laughs> Awesome purchase. The thing this around. thing was only thirty-five dollars. Holy crap! That is sick. All right, I'm gonna set this right here. I am going to turn it down a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna grab myself a little ravioli. This is not a sponsored brand deal, by the way. This is just something that I've always wanted. And Come I really... on, don't lie to them. You're working with ravioli. <laughs> I'm not talking about the ravioli. I'm talking about the oh. MSR little portable stove deal oh cool we don't even need a can opener just got the little pop top yeah and just gonna set that right there that's dial dude that, that's a mark that's a mark that's a big mark big mark down big mark big mark big, big mark, mark from the bottom turn off the music i just reeled up no did you see that yeah i think he's still there no freaking way I'm all the way. I was literally still there. He's still, there. Up He's still there. He's still on the Are bottom. Are you serious? Yeah. No way. Oh, I see him. I see him. No way. I'm almost down there. Catch him, Sophie. He's on you, eh? I think so. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. I'm almost down there, dude. Oh, I, put, I put my vein on he's bottom. There. He's, he's there. there. He's there. He's there. Come on. He's there. He, he, he. He. What's he doing, dude? What's he doing? He's swimming around. Come on. Oh, he's coming. He's gonna hit me. 